Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Venture Teated Hoodie. I've had this hoodie for a couple of months now. If you're not in Australia, you might be wondering why the heck I'm even reviewing a heated hoodie, but here in the Southern Hemisphere, it's bloody cold. It's actually the height of winter. Where I live, it gets real cold real quick. And usually I just layer, but Mrs. Wiz found this online and you know what? It's come up all right. One of the first things that I really like is that it actually comes in its own little bag. I'm a bit of a stickler, especially when traveling, for keeping stuff that should be together, actually together. I keep this in my closet just like this so that I can keep all of the components together. As for the hoodie itself, it's a really decent quality hood. This is something that I would consider wearing even if it didn't have the heating element. That's something that really stuck out to me, is that the style of this didn't look any different from something I would choose to wear normally. That's pretty cool. First up, the lining inside this hoodie is just beautiful. It's plush, polar fleece sort of like. I actually found that this hoodie in and of itself is probably one of the warmest garments that I own anyway. When you open it up, you can see the heating elements inside. I was a little skeptical when I did buy this, thinking, mm, am I gonna be able to feel this when it's on me? No, I can't feel the actual wires at all, which is kind of nice. I didn't really want to feel like Robocop or Terminator. There is three panels of heating elements in this particular garment. One there, one there, and a big one at the back. One thing it doesn't have is heating elements in the arms. Now, if that's a problem for you, you might want to consider another garment. But for me, it actually works really well. It's lined with the fleece down the bottom, and all up the top, as well as inside the sleeves itself. Where the heating element is, it's a bit more of a uh, different material. It's sort of a bit plasticky. As I said, this doesn't affect the feel of it when you're wearing it at all. It has some zippered internal pockets to put some stuff in, a smaller one here, which I'd assume would be for a key or something similar, and a larger one here that could probably fit a phone or a wallet. As for how the heating element is powered, that's pretty cool. Inside this little pocket here is a battery pack. And this comes supplied with the garment itself. It's rechargeable via a cord that's supplied and it's pretty compact. You plug the cord, which is inside this little pocket, into the battery pack, bang, that's it, it's powered. As it stands, I've used this garment quite a bit and I have yet to charge the battery pack. It's probably still half full. That's pretty rad. And this is one of my most favorite features of this hoodie, the ease of use. You simply hold down the button on the outside of it and it lights up. There are three heat settings and this one is hot. I've not had to use this one yet. This is the hottest and it works instantly. You can feel this thing heat up from the moment you push the button. There's that heating setting which is the second hottest. And this is the one where I feel like in the height of winter when I really need this jacket, that's the setting I use. The third one, even though it's blue, is still pretty dang warm. This is something where you're like, nah, I'm chilly, but absolutely not freezing. That's the go. To turn it off, you hold this down again. Off. It's been a little while since I've done a review, but this jacket kind of warrants one. So there you have it. Overall, I was kind of skeptical, but as you can see, I'm a massive fan. This jacket is comfortable, affordable, and does what it says. I'm not sure how I will survive without it now. I've been a bit spoiled. I generally wear this jacket underneath other layers, and it's nice and slimline, easily able to fit underneath my leather jacket and my vest. I hope you found this review helpful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope to ride with you all soon. See ya.